Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to a new series called Dreadful Ramblings. You're probably not going to enjoy this. I've decided to start off this new series where I ramble endlessly and pointlessly at you over gameplay by reacting to a TikTok. In fact, this one right here. No matter how much you hate taxes or believe that the Legion would do better for the Mojave, the NCR will always be the morally correct choice. A link to that post will be in the description below. I've been playing Fallout New Vegas as my go-to comfort game since before I was in high school, so that prompt actually kind of struck a nerve with me. Not because I disagree, I almost always make the exact choice she's suggesting there, but because neither of the two options presented are the morally correct choice when it comes to who should rule the Mojave. While there are objective pros and cons to both parties, ones that ultimately make the NCR a more sound option than the Legion, those details of each group do not make them the rightful holders of the Mojave, and in fact invalidate them and such. Allow me to deliberate. For those of us who don't still play video games from 2008, the Legion and the NCR, or New California Republic, are the two proposed primary factions the player can choose to side with and support over the course of the story of Fallout New Vegas. The Legion is a fascist authoritarian empire founded in Arizona and modeled after ancient Rome at the peak of its development. This faction is led by a man named Kaisar and champions itself as a supreme foundational group with rights to conquer and rule the Mojave by force. Chiefly, the motivations of the Legion, given its basis as reformed tribal communities, is to overtake, then exterminate or assimilate other groups into their fold, often relying on slavery as a means of controlling the masses. In general, the Legion is perceived as an option so horrible that there are characters who reinforce how likely they are to shoot them on sight and others who quiver at the thought of them taking the Mojave. We're near a Legion slave camp now. I've been here before. Let's get one thing straight. I see any crimson, I'm taking a shot. You don't like that, you're on your own. The Legion breaks through our defenses. I got one bullet I'm saving just for me. If the Legion breaks through our defenses, I got one bullet I'm saving just for me. If the Legion breaks through our defenses, I got one bullet I'm saving just for me. Okay, I get it. You want to kill yourself. Shut the fuck up. The NCR is a bureaucratic democracy hailing from Shady Sands, California, with a keen focus on maintaining a representative government based on old world values and thematics in an age where the world has soundly collapsed and there's no manageable infrastructure upon which humans can rely. The upside to this formula is that, when it works, the NCR and its systems provide structure, law, and order to what are often very tumultuous places that lack safety and security. The downside is that the NCR is often bogged down by the notions of traditional governmental proceedings and paperwork, leading them to be overextended, undersupported, and struggling to maintain positive appeal given the rampant corruption its shaky foundation has allowed to be fostered in its ranks. Additionally, the imperialistic leanings of the NCR are often looked down upon heavily, particularly by members of the Mojave who dislike the notion of suddenly answering to an overbearing in goody two-shoes government, or whose homes have literally been ripped away from them by the outward NCR expansion. Nothing happened in Bitter Springs in 2278. Overall, these two nations hold the most power of any of the groups present in the Mojave Wasteland surrounding New Vegas, which makes them the two most obvious candidates to become the newfound owners of all that useless desert wasteland. While it may be clearly apparent that the NCR is the morally superior option present in this Kafkaesque nightmare of a living space, that doesn't necessarily mean that it's the morally core correct choice. Like I said before, these two powers have serious objective cons that disqualify them from being at all qualified to lead the people of the Mojave Wasteland. The biggest of these problems, which applies equally to both parties, is that neither of them have roots in the Mojave whatsoever. Both are outwardly expanding nations from different parts of the country vying for control of the New Vegas Strip, which maintains its pre-war role as a tourism center. Neither group gives a damn about the people, history, or pre-existing cultures that have existed here for ages attempting only to secure the funds created by the casinos in Vegas to further outward expansion and spheres of influence across post-war America. Given that neither of them actually seeks to lead the people of the Mojave, choosing instead to rule over or tax them, the NCR and the Legion are equally morally bankrupt choices for leading the Mojave. Furthermore, each of these nations has its own internal problems that would make them horribly ineffective rulers in an area as contested as New Vegas. In the case of the Legion, the entire basis of the faction is support of their leader, Kaisar, and the respect of his judgment and control. It's a cult of personality, one that surrounds a governmental system that has no other major leadership outside of the war council that is Laetlanius. If Kaisar dies, which if you're like me, oh yeah, he dies every single time.
Oh yeah, that's the good stuff. If Kaiser were to die suddenly in the Legion's current state of outward expansion, which is likely considering the brain tumor the game has him suffer from, there will be no leader at the helm of a nation that relies on that specific leadership. Historically, what does that create in that nation? A power vacuum. It's a power vacuum. It'd be a power vacuum. Anyone with the means or support to take the throne from Kaisar's literal cold, dead hands will attempt to do so. There will be splits amongst the tribe's soldiers, supporting the legate as a new leader, supporting other members of Kaiser's personal guard as the new leader, supporting the rulings of the now past Kaiser as if he were a god. The split would inevitably see the Legion lose control of the Mojave rapidly, as its own devolution would reignite the old power struggles that exist in the region currently. On the other hand, the NCR would be equally ill equipped to manage the Mojave as part of their own nation. The NCR's forces and establishment in the Mojave is shaky at best and fucking depressing at its worst. From Bitter Springs to Camp Golf to Camp McCarran to the Mojave Outpost, there isn't a single part of the armed forces of this nation that is properly equipped to secure their region. The Mojave Outpost quivers at the notion of the Legion taking Nelson. Camp McCarran quivers at the fiends that are right outside their walls. Camp Golf can't get its own trainees to wipe their asses properly. Everything the NCR has managed to create, aside from an environment ripe for corruption and authoritarian control is utter shit. With no outward appeal to the people of Mojave, given the newly found taxes they have to pay in exchange for little to no change in their quality of life, the continued infighting of the pre-existing factions in the Mojave would lead the NCR into a never-lending struggle against the time it takes to file paperwork as they seek to hold the Mojave before ultimately failing. Both nations suck and have no right to the Mojave, so who does? The people of the Mojave, you dumb shit! The best option, in a perfect world at least, would be to create a single independent collective, one that would be primarily headed by the families of the Strip, whose interests are not in leadership, but in money. They would have the strongest inclination to remain as neutral as possible so they can benefit from all of the surrounding factions equally while allowing them to independently keep their own people happy. This collective would oversee the tribes of the Mojave as a whole, mediating over political discussions and disputes over land conflicts, taxes, trade, free passage, and so on. The people of the Mojave have been here for ages and know how cruel it can be much better than any pencil pusher in Shady Sands ever will. The game doesn't give you that perfect option though, so the closest thing is an independent New Vegas. The people of the region get to lead themselves as they see fit without interference from disinterested foreign interest groups and life goes on as normal, without constant full-scale war looming on the horizon. And if any one of you is about to suggest that I say you side with Mr. House, I rest my case. Well, thank you guys for watching. Hopefully, uh, Dreadful Ramblings isn't a total waste of my time, and this was at least a f weird, stupid filler thing that was vaguely interesting as a look into the hypothetical politics of a virtual post-apocalyptic America. If you are all interested in watching any more of this, this will become a monthly thing released on the 15th of every month going forward. Um, I have a collection of ideas that We'll just be in videos just like this. You'll get some gameplay and I'll talk for a while. Um, and generally they'll be pretty short compared to my normal content. If you wanted that, go ahead and click that like button down below to show me that you enjoyed this, that this was something interesting for you. Uh, and subscribe if you want to catch the next couple of episodes. Share it around maybe if you want somebody else to get wrapped into this because the more the merrier, right? Misery loves its company. Otherwise, thank you guys so much for watching. As always, I really do appreciate it. I've been MIA for a while because classes were a thing, and then now that summer's hit, I'm just working a lot. So I do have projects in the works. They'll be coming down eventually. I can't say when just yet, but we'll get this figured out. Thank you all so much for watching, and have a dreadful day. <laughs> <laughs> so stupid.